മാലിബിലിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റി മാലിബിലിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റി ആർ ടു ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് പാരാമീറ്റേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് മെറ്റീരിയൽസ് ഇൻ ജനറൽ മോസ്റ്റ് മെറ്റൽസ് ആർ ബോത്ത് മാലിബിൾ ആൻഡ് ഡക്ടൈൽ ടാക്ടിലിറ്റി ഇസ് ദ എബിലിറ്റി ഓഫ് എ മെറ്റീരിയൽ ടു പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക്ലി ഡിഫോം വിത്തൌട്ട് ബ്രേക്കിംഗ് വെൻ ടെൻ സെൽ സ്ട്രെസ് ഈസ് അപ്ലൈ ടു ഇറ്റ് മാലിബിലിറ്റി ഇസ് ദ സിമിലർ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് എക്സ്പ്രസ് ദ എബിലിറ്റി ഓഫ് എ മെറ്റീരിയൽ ടു പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക്ലി ഡിഫോം വിത്തൌട്ട് ബ്രേക്കിംഗ് under compressive rather than tensile stress this video will explain the major difference between ductility and malleability let us see what is ductility as i said ductility is the ability of a material to be stretched into a wire without breaking this is the term used when the material is deformed by a tensile load for example copper aluminum platinum bismuth nickel all are ductile material because it is easy to be stretched and formed into a wire this image shows a ductility test where the material is stretched between two jaws and you will be able to determine how good the material is to be formed into a wire in this test time diagram you can see that the comparison between the brittle and ductile material in this test time diagram you can see the difference between the ductile and brittle material The brittle material tend to break at a certain point when the stress is applied but the ductile material tend to stretch for a long time and you can see the absorbed energy is determined by the area under the curve this image shows stainless steel material and copper material stretched into form of wire next malleability malleability is the ability of a material to be hammed into a thin sheets without cracking This is the term used when the material is deformed by a compressive load. Gold, silver, aluminum, iron all are examples of malleable material. Here you can see the images of coins, platinum foil and the gold formed into different shapes. Gold is the most malleable material. We will see the use of ductile and malleable materials. Because of the ductile property, we will be able to make a thin wires which is used to transport electricity over long distances and ductile materials are widely used in computers and electronic products similarly malleability of steel aluminum tin and other alloys make them useful for making utensils and other containers for the use in homes and kitchens and malleability of gold and silver make them suitable for ornaments we will go through the major difference between malleability and ductility now Malleability corresponds to a change of metal into sheets. Ductility corresponds to a change of metal into wires. Malleability is the act of deforming. The ductility is the act of stretching. External stress or force applied is compressive when you handle malleable material. External stress or force is tensile when you handle ductile material. Malleability increases with the rise in temperature. ductility decreases with the rise in temperature malleability is measured by pressure withstanding ability ductility is determined by the bending test the malleable materials do not necessarily exhibit good ductility but the ductile materials show high malleability and the last one is malleability is a crucial property when the solid is undergoing rolling forging extrusion etc because in these operations compressive force act on it ductility is crucial property when the solid is undergoing wire drawing operations because of the tensile force act on it these are the major difference between the malleability and ductility hope this video is helpful thank you